Hi everyone, I'm hopeful that all you will be fine. In the last session, we have learned how we can actually get the schedulers. Okay, so let's suppose user A is the assistant of user B to Z. Okay, and that means B to Z users have assistant A. Okay, so by using the A user ID, we will get B to Z users. Okay, so we have successfully learned uh, in the last session, in the previous session, how we can get actually schedulers. Okay. So we are keep continuing with the Zoom users REST API. And in this session, we will learn how we can actually get the user setting, okay? So for that, we first need to create a const variable inside the constant. So we say here, user setting, and we need to create a helper where we can pass the ID and we need to use the string interpolation as SM. And here we say user ID, okay. And we just need to pass the settings as a relative path, okay. So, okay. So basically, this is the relative path where you can get the settings ID. And inside the user ID, you can pass any any from these three values. So you can either pass user unique ID, uh, the email of that user, and if you have an auth flow app, then you can use me as a user ID, okay. So then we just need to export this. So we say user setting, okay? And need to remove this permit support. And inside the Zoom user helper, we need to first import that. We say user setting at the bottom. We need to create a helper for that. So we say const user settings async, and we need to pass the user ID, okay? And I think we need to pass the filter because we have a multiple query parameters inside this endpoint. So first thing for this endpoint access, you must be have a user read or user read admin scope, okay? And then this API have a medium limit. That means you can only send 20 requests per second. If you have a pro plan with the Zoom and if you have a business plus, then you can 60 requests. You can send 60 requests per second, okay? Inside the filter, uh, we have a, these type of uh, parameters. One is a user ID, which is required, okay? And we can also filter the records by different uh, filter query parameters. So which are these here? So we can either pass login type, okay? And we can pass the option, okay? And, and we can also pass custom field query, okay? custom query fields, custom query fields, okay. Inside this login type, we have a set of values we can pass. You can see those here on the docs. You can see here are different set of values we can pass inside that login type, okay. So you can see if we are, we are going to pass zero, that means we are filtering the records by the Facebook auth login only. And if we are going to pass 99, that means we are going to filter the request by API users only. Okay, 101 for SSO and these bottom ones for the China only. Okay, and inside the option, we can pass three values and uh, pass uh, one of these three values. Okay, so we can either pass meeting, okay, authentication. So we can pass option as a meeting, me meeting authentication, either we can pass recording authentication. Okay, and we can either pass meeting security, okay? So we can use any one, one from these three values, okay? So we can set this, that as an option, uh, filter parameter, okay? And for the custom query parameters, uh, in the response, we will get these type of sections. So we, uh, we will get user setting, section okay and user settings and we will get the meeting meeting and recording okay meeting and recording authentication okay authentication settings okay and we also get meeting webinar security setting okay so we, in the response, we only get these three type of sections in, in the response of this API, okay? 
So it, that will be totally depend on what privileges or what role you have inside the Zoom. Okay, so that may be different uh, response. You may be get different response in a different roles or privileges uh, in, inside your Zoom account, what we have with the Zoom account. Okay, so in inside the inside the Zoom user uh, uh, general settings, okay, you can uh, uh, get the audio conferencing setting. Okay, so all the settings related to the audio conferencing, you can get a setting of section inside this audio set, uh, user settings, okay, user setting object. You can get the audio conferencing and you can get here email notification settings, okay, and you can get here feature setting, okay. And you can get here. So email notification is all the notification related to the emails uh, from the Zoom to your email, okay? And features means, let's suppose we are taking an example like a okay, whiteboard feature and other features, you can you, you will get that type of setting inside this object, okay? And then you can also get the in-meeting setting, okay? So in-meeting, all the in-meeting se settings, uh, let's suppose we are taking an example that uh, you are uh, enabling that every part, any participant in the meeting can delete the uh, chat, okay? Delete the chat message, okay? So let's suppose this is an example of a in meeting uh, setting, okay? So th this type of a setting you can receive in this object. So in meeting uh, object inside the user settings object. And you can also get profile setting, okay? So you will get help profile settings, okay? And you can, so these are the objects which will be beside in this, in this user settings object, okay? So these will be, if, 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 if we will build a simple JSON, then you will get a user settings object globally. So you will get in this type. So you will say you will get user settings, okay? And inside that you will get audio conferencing, okay? Audio conferencing. And here you have also object or different audio conferencing settings and you have a email, okay? Email notification settings. So here you have also an object and for feature, you have also an object for the feature settings and you have in meeting. There is also an object for that, okay? So all the related in meeting settings you will get in this section, okay? And you will get the profile and profile have all the different setting values of the different fields. You will get that in this section, okay? And then you will also get the recording, okay? So all the recording related setting, you will get in this, those settings inside this section. And you will uh, get the scheduling settings, okay? So you will get the scheduling settings inside this section. You will get all the scheduling related settings inside this section. So users, user setting, then you have a schedule setting, and then you have a telephony setting, okay? Telephony, so inside you have all the telephony related, uh, related uh, settings, and then you have a TSP setting, okay? So all these type of um, uh, maximum values you can get inside the user settings, okay? So user setting. Inside the meeting and recording authentication settings, you can only receive the authentication object. So, so you will get uh, that in like this way. So you have a, a meeting and recording authentication settings. Okay. Inside that, you have a only authentication options, okay? Authentication options. So there are different options. We will discuss further more in detail in, in, in the next session because if we are going to uh, deep detail all the details in this section, then this section, session maybe will be a bit long. So that's why I'm just only uh, discussing few global fields only, okay? So in, inside here, you only uh, get the authentication options. And inside the webinar security, you only get the meeting security object, okay? 
so all the related meeting security settings will be lie inside this object so all will be globally placed one by one and you will get a complete settings object so as i already mentioned that all this type of uh, data you will face back will be totally depend on what privileges you have on a zoom, a zoom account okay so let's i think we need to comment these things okay so we need to select from here we select all these and just comment this okay and then we are just going to i think we have discussed all the parameters so we have discussed login type option and query fields okay so in the query field you can get any section of the settings okay so if you are setting here uh, uh, custom query fields and you are passing here user setting okay then you will only get this section okay and if you are here pass audio setting okay you can here pass audio setting then audio conferencing then you can only get this section okay in the response so this is for that okay so let's start and build the URL for this endpoint. So let's say we say setting URL, setting URL, and we need to use a string tablation. And here we pass API base, and then we call user setting. Okay, and here we pass filter dot user ID. Okay, and we have check if filter dot login type is available then we are going to append that inside the url so we say and login type and we need to pass that from filter dot login type okay and we also check for filter dot option if that is available then we just need to append that setting also so we say and and option we need to use the filter dot option okay and at the bottom we have to check filter dot custom uh, custom query fields okay so inside this custom query fields you can set multiple fields okay you have a no limit uh, that you can only send one field so if you are you are going to sending multiple fields, then you just place a comma, okay, and add another field. So you can if you if you are uh, only interested to get back record uh, for the audio conferencing and email notification, then you just uh, set a comma and and uh, place the name of that field, okay. So we can uh, see if the custom query fields are present inside the filter, then we just need to append that. So here we see need to end and do we say custom query feeds and here we need to append so we say filter dot custom query feeds okay and at the bottom let's start to build the axios so we need to call we say axios and inside that we need to set the URL URL will be the setting URI and the method will be gate and headers we need to must we pass that header we need to copy so we get copy from here just need to paste that here and we bind then then we have say response okay i think it is a response click on response and we bind page and we say error return error okay semicolon need to return the data data just format the code and then we need to export user settings okay format the code and inside the api we first need to import that so we have say schedulers user settings user settings okay at the bottom we just need to create the endpoint so we say a to get api zoom slash we pass user id and we have say settings okay and we say async request response and just need to 
call the helper function. We say here user settings result and we need to call await user settings and request our query. I think uh, we must be set here request dot body dot user id and we say request dot params dot user id semicolon and at the bottom we need to return response dot json and we send back user setting result semicolon semicolon we need to format the code just start the terminal and then start need to place a breakpoint here and here okay and then navigate to the browser and here we say localhost port 4000 we say api zoom and we need to pass email of that user and here we say settings okay so hit enter so we have got the error so let's see what is the error i think we first need to just 401 that means unauthorized so I think this token is going to expire. So that's why we are getting this headers. So it is, let's say headers. I think that is correct and right. So let's first check if there is any typo. There is no typo. Clear and then start once again. And hit enter. We still receive error. So it is a 401. So let's let's get the token once again. So I think I need to, to log in to say room. I think I need to maybe get to marketplace dot zoom dot us sign in. Either we can either we can for this session we can also use the access token. Okay, so we need to authorize, but then we will get the token also. So we get that from here. We are not going to use the JWT for now. So control C and we say npm start. First we need to authorize. So we say local host for 4000 API zoom. And authorize enter. We have authorized now. We can have send request. We still getting error so 404. That means this endpoint is not valid. So let's find that what is going wrong with the URL. So here we have undefined. So filter dot filter head do not have any user ID. Okay, so that's the problem. I think let's check inside the API. So we have a request query. Oh, so we must be set request query and then we need to pass the request query. So we set npm start and then we need to hit the request once again. I think we first need to authorize first. 4000 API is authorized. Enter. And we have authorized. Hit enter once again. Still, we are getting error. So let's see that what is going wrong with the endpoint. So now we have an endpoint. Is there any typo mistakes? So here we can see HTTPS API is. Zoom users and we have passed email and we have uh, settings settings okay all the things are fine let's resend the request so see inside the error what is the error? Oh, it's mentioning that user does not exist. Maybe I think we are uh, we are uh, getting an invalid email. So my 
first i need to get the exact authorizing user email from here so let me check what user we are authorizing oh here's a different email okay so that's why the user doesn't exist okay so we need to change the email so we say okay and now i think we hit the enter once again let's continue this first okay i think we have a response so let's resend the request we have now response okay we uh we was facing the error uh user doesn't exist because we are authorizing with a different user and we are passing user id for a different user and that user doesn't exist on the on the authorized user account so that's why we are getting 404 so now we are getting the data so inside the data you can see we have only user global settings as per the privileges available on that account okay so if you are only interested to get back in the response you can see here we are getting multiple objects but if we, if we are only interested to get the audio conferencing only then we just need to copy this continue and from the browser we only need to pass the custom query fields and we need to paste i think we remove and hit enter and we have a response and inside the response we are we are still getting the all the things let's let's check that filter query parameter i think we need to check this oh just not binding so custom query field doesn't exist what is going wrong with that so i think there's a typo mistake okay so there was a typo mistake sorry for that continue hit request once again we have about the response i think we still getting the complete object let's see what is inside url still we are not getting custom fields inside the filter so it is custom query fields oh custom query fields so you can see here here is a type of mistake okay custom query fields we need to copy and paste this hit enter continue let's first see inside the filter that we have custom okay now we are finding the audio oh you can see we have a missing a in the audio okay so that's why i think we still have a response nothing okay so because there is no any setting object like this so we need to pass a now it enter once again now we can see still we are not getting anything okay so i think we need to first check so query custom query fields and audio conferencing and we are getting nothing so let's send this let's check another option so let's set here post video hit enter not getting anything what is basically going wrong with that oh you can see the question mark must be there a question mark so we are appending the end symbol i think we need to add the question mark first by default okay so you have seen we have missed this question mark and we are getting that error so let's i think we need to send the audio conferencing once again enter we are getting error now what is the 401 unauthorized because token is expired need to reauthorize localos for 4000 api is um, authorized hit enter 
authorize let's resend the request we have a response and now you can see we have only audio section from the settings object okay so you can see only audio object so if if we are only interested to filter back the only profile we can say profile hit enter and then we can see only we have a profile okay so you can either either we are only interested from the profile also so if we can see here so inside the profile we have a recording storage section but inside the audio con conferencing i think we have a multiple object so if we had pass audio conferencing and hit enter and let's see there are multiple settings inside that so audio conferencing and we just only need to pass i think there is only one object also so let's continue this i think we need to remove and first check all the feeds and then so we just need to remove this first remove and hit enter so we will get all the response and we first get the object where we were so inside let's suppose email notification we have a, a jbs reminder so we just we only needed this setting object okay this custom feed so we copy this and continue and here we need to only set the custom query fields and paste it that here first need to remove white space hit enter and let's see inside the response so we have a response you can see and inside the email notification we have only one field okay and if you are interested uh, you can see here so we inside the data we have only email notification object but we can get multiple settings also so if we can append the profile also so we can say here profile comma and jb hash reminder so we hit enter now inside the response so we can see we have a both objects so email notification and profile object okay hopefully you have enjoyed this session if you have any query regarding this session then just please place your queries inside the video comment section and either you have any queries regarding any session uh, my recorded sessions and either you have any suggestion then all those are most welcome so you can share those details via my shared contact details either on my email either on my whatsapp take care bye bye